Round 23 version of Tab Set of Six. Three weeks left before the finals. Anthony Minicello, and you're on fire in your long shots. You had the Warriors two weeks ago, yep. and you had the Raiders to beat the Melbourne Storm. I bet you weren't confident in the first half, though. No, I watched the first half actually before I went to dinner, and I was like, they are gone. <laughs> Check the score, and I was like, how good was that? So, another win up for the punters. Do you believe? Can they win the Premiership? I believe they can win, they can beat any team on their day, but win the Premiership this year, maybe not. Raiders fans are believing, that's for sure. Let's get stuck into tackle one. This is our early points. This is just a market where many you think it's going to happen. What game are you going to? I'm going to the Sharks game. I think this is a must win for the Sharks. The Warriors last week were pretty poor against the Roosters, and I think the Sharks need to win, and they've got big game players. I think they'll win. Yeah, you get the feeling with the Warriors, it's queuing the rack stuff. This yep. is one the Sharks have to win. Matt Moylan, another hamstring injury. Yeah, it seems to be a bit of a chronic hamstring um, injury there. So, look, he needs to be in the side if they want to make a, a further run. I feel, but we'll see what happens. And the Sharks are the team, if they make the finals, no one will want to play them. Not really. They just make every game a dogfight, and they've got tough forwards, and if they're all fit, then that's when it's a pretty tough match. Yeah, they're probably pretty lucky to get away with that one against the Dragons last week, but derby games are always tough. Let's go to tackle two. This is the the bet you're just flying on, the long shot. Let's make it three in a row, Mini. What game are you going to here? Look, I'm going to continue with uh, the winning streak that the Dogs have. Aren't they on fire? They are on fire. They're, they're overachieved, probably, they're, considering their roster. I agree. They're they're just a, a new lease of life for them. Mm. So they're at, obviously, Bank West Stadium, which Paramount do traditionally play well there. But I think they can get them. Okay, so the Dogs. So what about the Dogs? do you think has helped them elevate them, I guess, above expectations, particularly in the last month or so? I think they've got some great youngsters coming through and there's just a fresh, uh, enthusiastic team. Uh, and Kieran Foran back in a bit of form mm. too, so that uh, steers the ship a bit. Yeah, you get the feeling if they can get a couple of big names on their roster, yeah. particularly over the off-season, they could, who knows, shoot up the ladder next season. So yeah. clearly Dean Pay doing a good job there at the he Dogs. Is. So. Well done to Doggies fans. I know it's been a lean few, well, a couple of years now. Uh, let's go to our third tackle, bin or win, and uh, we're looking for teams to cover the line, whether they'll cover the line or not this week. Let's start with a big game. The Tigers and the Knights need to win. This could be season over for whoever loses. The Tigers plus two and a half at Campbelltown against Newcastle. Oh, this is a huge game. I'm looking forward to this. I think I'm going to bin this because I think the Newcastle Knights are just on a bit of a run at the moment. Okay, I'll ask you about Nathan Brown shortly. Uh, the Dragons plus 12 and a half against the Roosters at Cogra. Uh, I am going to bin this as well. I think the Roosters will come home strong. Okay, the Roosters will win by 13 plus essentially there. The Raiders minus four and a half at home against Manly. Yeah, this is going to be a tough match, but I'm going to put this in the win category. I think the confidence I get from beating the Storm last week, they'll kick on in the second half. Just quickly, what do you make of Nathan Brown sacking? Uh, look, I, leaving the club. I, I think he's yeah, he's leaving the club. He's left the club in a much better place. There's no doubt about that. Um, but sometimes change is good for a club, and maybe it's uh, it's good for the players. Who knows? Let's go to our fourth tackle. Same game, multi time. This one got up last week, reducing yeah. the two legs. Oh. Obviously, <laughs> helped. but we got the job done. Uh, now we go to the South Brisbane game. Here. I am. This is another big game. Wayne Bennett up against his old club. I think. I'm going South 1 to 12. I think South Sydney will pull out of their form slump. South Sydney 1 to 12 in the gag either score at any time, and that will offer $5. Well, what's happened with South? What can you put there a downturn in form? Yeah, look, I, traditionally, if you look at Wayne Bennett coach teams, they do have a little bit of a slide towards the end of the season. I'm not too sure it has been this late in the season, but can they um, get that on the incline again? I think they can. I think this is a big game for them, and I think they can, they can win. First try star last week, Ruben Garrick, after all the tries he scored, unfortunately didn't manage to cross the stripe at yes. all for us. But uh, well, you're going to, well, Melbourne and uh, one of their speedsters here. Josh Adokar, obviously the Titans have been pretty poor this season. Oh. So, you know, if Melbourne not coming off a loss too, they want to start fast. And it's normally their wingers, Vinavalo or, or Adokar. So I'm going to stick with Adokar this week. Adokar, $7. He's $1.60 to score at all. That's short. $1.75 to score and win. Uh, Three dollars thirty to score two or more. Uh, as we go to our golden point, our best bet of the round, you're sticking with that game. I'm sticking with that game just because you know first up against last, um, so it doesn't offer much of a price. But if you throw that in your multi, then it adds a bit more. So you're going the minus minus nineteen and a half there to cover. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, this is 
the shortest price any it, team's been all season. Dollar six. Oh, it's it doesn't it? happen in the NRL no, these, yeah, these it really days. Doesn't. But it just really, I mean, this is the perfect storm as far as uh, the the Gold Coast is concerned. You're playing Melbourne, coming off a loss, queuing the rack. You've got no <laughs> confidence. Oh, this could be ugly. Oh, this no. could be very ugly. I'm going. I'm a believer in the Raiders. I'm going Jordan Rapano to score Raiders to win against Manly, nice. and that's paying three dollars twenty five. The old to score and win. I was very confident the Dragons at the plus last week. Yeah, oh, they got the job done, done for us there. Local derbies throw the form out the window. Exactly. Uh, but to uh, look, Mini. Three weeks to go. It's getting interesting. This Tigers Newcastle game is the big one. I reckon. I've looked at the last three weeks, and every team is playing each other in the top four, the bottom four. Mm. Mate, I can't wait for these next three weeks. It's leading into the semis. Check out all the words tips on the tab blog as well. You can catch us on set of six each and every week. See you next week, Mini. Good luck, punters.